so this is the third example the simplex example we are going to finish it off here that is cmos 2 input nor gate as you already know the expression for a two input nor gate is y is equal to a plus b the whole complement so in this case y is equal to a plus b the whole complement first and foremost thing is the expression is given in the whole complement form if you refer to the plus or dot sign the expression is consisting of a plus sign which means that nmos transistor has to be a parallel of a and b combination and pmos has to be a series combination so plus sign expression has plus sign here hence nmos should be connected in parallel and please note that here it has to be pmos connected in series i have not mentioned pmos here pmos is missing so two pmos transistor has to be connected in series and in this case two nmos transistor has to get connection in parallel so this is taken from your rules slide if you remember next thing is i have to count the total number of transistors required so total number of transistors required is twice the number of inputs number of inputs are 2 here so 2 into 2 it is 4 so out of 4 two transistors will be of p mosfet and two transistors will be of n mosfet that is 4 divided by 2 or number of p mosfet and number of n mosfet will be always equal in number so now i am knowing how many number of transistors are needed here what should be the type of combination whether it should be in series or parallel so from this i came to know that nmos should be in parallel and pmos should be in series which is exactly the reverse way of the previous concept of two input nand gate where we had two pmos fed connected in parallel over there here we have two pmos fed connected in series and uh, the reverse way that is two nmos fed were connected in series here we have two nmos fed connected in parallel that's it so once you are done with the vertical representation or vertical circuit transform it into a horizontal representation so it is nothing but end to end connection so end to end connection drain to source you can connect then drain to the output terminal you can connect so two n mosfet has to be connected in parallel where this terminal is called as a source terminal this terminal is called as drain terminal so drain to drain short source to source short in order to get a parallel combination so according to this particular diagram i have assumed this as the source terminal this as the source terminal for first transistor a and this side left hand side of b transistor as source terminal of b source to source has been shorted left out terminal that is this terminal is drain of first transistor this is the drain of second transistor so short drain to drain source to source if you short from source to source the connection has to get applied to ground terminal so source to source terminal has been shorted and it has been applied to ground terminal now drain to drain has been shorted drain to drain has been shorted it has to get applied to the output terminal y so from there i have to apply to output terminal y similarly the pull up that is p mosfet i am having a transistor and b transistor connected together the left out terminal of a should get applied to the supply of vgd so a and b connection is this one left out terminal of a is this side which has to get applied to the supply vgd then the left out terminal where it is not having a connection with a that is this right side terminal it has to get applied to y so from there to y then join these two so the parallel combination of a and b and the left out terminal of b which is not having a connection with a has to get applied to the output line y exact the same diagram that is the horizontal representation transfer it into terms of layer representation and try to draw the stick diagram so polysilicon that is inputs a and b represented in terms of vertical polysilicon layers once again four transistors two transistors in pull up two transistors in pull down so draw a p type of diffusion draw an n type of diffusion so i am having a transistor form then exactly in the same way make a connection rest out terminals of that is vdd then ground terminal then this output representation everything represent it in terms of a metal layer so whenever you are supposed to make a contact between two distinct layers make sure that you are using a contact cut here this is p type of diffusion metal layer so here i have used one contact cut p type of diffusion metal layer 
so here we have to use one more contact cut again same way here also n type of diffusion and uh, this is metal layer so use contact cut again here also metal layer and n type of diffusion n type of diffusion and metal layer so you have to use corresponding contact cuts last thing is the vdd contact put a cross mark on vdd supply rail and put a cross mark on ground supply rail vdd and ground you have to put cross mark which represents the vdd as well as vss contacts and the final thing is nothing but drawing a demarcation line in order to segregate between p type of devices and n type of devices so hope you are thorough with drawing the circuit diagram both in terms of vertical representation as well as horizontal representation and how to convert it into a stick diagram by making use of corresponding MOS layers. So in the further session, we will be discussing on how to draw a stick diagram when the number of input is greater than 2 or when the circuit expression is still more complex when compared to these basics. Thank you.